These were my kindergartner's favorite books this year. Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I just finished up my first year teaching kindergarten. I actually did the same video when I taught first grade. I rounded up my kids, asked them what their favorite books were that year, made a list and kind of showed you inside all of them. And this year I taught kindergarten and I have a giant stack of books to share with you. So these are all books that when I asked them, they brought up by name they really enjoyed this year. Also, if you are new, be sure to check out some of my kindergarten vlogs because I share all the books that we read on a week to week basis and I share how we use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first book is Knuffle Bunny, which it actually is pronounced Knuffle Bunny. This is written by Mo Willems, um, who writes the Elephant and Piggy books, the Pigeon books too. But this is Knuffle Bunny and it's a super sweet book and it's really neat if you've never seen it. Um, I think most of us are familiar with it, but it has like real photos and the characters are kind of drawn in. So here's them in their city and it's about a little girl named Trixie who can't talk and they go and get their laundry done and something happens to Knuffle Bunny. It's super sweet. There's a Knuffle Bunny 2 and apparently there is a Knuffle Bunny 3 but my kids adore this book. The next book is by the same author, Mo Willems, um, and this one's kind of a classic, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. They adore this book. Um, and this is one of those books where you are supposed to kind of talk back with the book. Um, so the pigeon is talking to the students, so that's really fun. They also really enjoy the Elephant and Piggy books, just getting to read them on their own or look at the pictures. Um, I think they said their favorite Elephant and Piggy book this year is Should I Share My Ice Cream? And I think they feel that way because it was kind of special when we read it because we read it with the first grade teacher too. So they love Mo Willems as an author. And then we have Grumpy Monkey. This is by Suzanne Lang. And my kids adored this book. And this is one of those books that we read using the app Novel Effect, which this video is not sponsored, but Novel Effect is an app that kind of gives you sound effects to your books. And this one has really, really good sound effects. So they thought it was extra special. But it is about this monkey. I think his name is Jim, or maybe that's the... Um, gorilla. Jim. Yeah, Jim is the name of the monkey and he's grumpy the whole book and at the end it's just super sweet. So I love this book. I had a couple of grumpy monkeys in my classroom, but they thought this book was hilarious. Also, this book was donated by Morgan. She's the Beach Classroom on Instagram. Thank you so much, Morgan. Um, my first graders love this book too, so this has gotten a lot of love. The next book is Pig the Winner, which this is a sequel to the book Pig the Pug, which we actually read after we read this one because I didn't get a chance to read it sooner in the year. But my kids adored this one so many I so many of my kids were like, this is my favorite book this year. Right after we finished reading it, they wanted me to read it like three more times. It is about a very sore winner and it is a great book, tons of fun. This was donated by Nerissa Miller, so thank you so much. We use this for game day, but it's perfect even at the beginning of the year when you're doing team building activities. Love this book. And then we have Una, which is very special. It is about a mermaid who is a treasure hunter. She has a best friend named Otto that is her otter best friend and they run into a little bit of of trouble in the waters of the ocean. It's a really good book. I think for my kids, it, they didn't necessarily get the concept of it as much, but they still really enjoyed the story. This would be really great, I think, for second grade. So if you're a second grade teacher, definitely look into this book. Next up is one of my favorite books. It is not quite Narwhal. It's funny because when my kids first heard this book, they thought I was saying not quite normal with these masks that we had on all year. And that kind of fits too, but it's not quite Narwhal. They loved this book. It's about a unicorn who was maybe born under the sea, but he spent his whole life with narwhals. He thought he was a narwhal. Um, and then he discovers unicorns one day and something happens. But this book is super sweet. We loved it. Um, and this was actually donated by Taylor and Liana. So thank you so much for this. My first graders loved it too. It was one of their favorite books and definitely one of my top favorite picks too. And then we have Bubble Kisses, which I use this book for Bubble Day. That's why I got it. So this is a book that we read in the past like 10 days of school and it's got kind of like a little rhyme that goes with it. It's less of a story, more of like a fun sing song book. And there's actually a little CD in here and a QR code you can scan, but it didn't work for me because my technology never works. So we didn't get to hear the actual melody. So I kind of just made Made up a melody as I sing the book and they love 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 when books rhyme um, so this was one of my kids favorite books too I guess just for the for the rhythm and fun of it so bubble kisses next up I have to give a huge shout out to one of my favorite series and if you follow me here on Instagram you know what it is and that is the what should Danny do 
collection. So they came out first with What Should Danny Do? And then I think What Should Danny Do? School Day. And then What Should Danny Do? On Vacation. And What Should Darla Do? And all of these were sent to my class by the author. So thank you so much. But these are always always my kids top books i think their favorite this year were these two like they mentioned this one by name what should danny do on vacation and then what should darla do was really fun too so these were kind of their top two books this year but these if you're not familiar with them are your choose your own adventure stories so darla has eight stories in one um danny on vacation has nine danny's school day has eight and then the original one has nine. So they have arrows in the bottom corner kind of guiding you. And then every now and then you'll get to a choice that Danny needs to make. So you get to ask them, should Danny eat pancakes on the alphabet plate or should he yell until he gets the ninja plate? And I usually have my kids hold up a one or a two and then I kind of see which has more choices and then it tells you what page to turn to. So if we turn to page 26, if he eats the pancakes on the alphabet plate, which he does not want, then they can kind of see how that positive choice works out for him. And there's multiple opportunities in the book for Danny to change the course of his day. So even if he makes a poor choice, he can still fix his day. Um, and it's also really nice because you can go through and just see the different endings and kind of have those conversations. So what should Danny do is always my favorites and it's always a hit with kids. I also dressed up as Darla for superhero day. So love that. Next is another shout out to Jory John and Pete Oswald. Um, we actually read The Good Egg as our first book from this author and we read this online too and they loved this book. This whole series collection is great. This was donated by Mary Jane so thank you so much for donating this to our classroom. We started off with a good egg and it's about an egg person who is always good, always good, and it's very difficult on them. Um, and then we read The Bad Seed, which I don't have a copy of right now, but The Bad Seed is wonderful. It's about a, a person who thinks, you know, they're bad, they're bad, there's nothing they can do about it. And then we also read The Great Eggs Escape, and they thought this was super, super fun too. So all these books are awesome. If you teach kinder, first, second, even third grade, I think would enjoy them. This next one, I adore. I adore this one so much. And it's one of those very simple books that you just have so much fun reading. This book, I think, did it have sound effects on novel effects? I can't remember, but they loved it. It's called I Want My Hat Back. And there's... <laughs> It's this bear who is very monotone and boring and if you've watched my vlogs you kind of know how I read this book but he is missing his hat and he's looking and he's talking to all these people and asking them if they've seen his hat and it's also a very predictable text which is great for young readers, young listeners because they feel like they kind of get the story and there is a very funny plot twist at the end that had my kids dying of laughter so this one highly highly recommend, very popular. And then we have 52 which was actually sent to us by the author but it's a true story about a whale who um, range is way too low for the other whales to hear him so he's lonely but he's also okay with being lonely and it's a really good example for our kids and there's also a short on YouTube that you can watch that goes along with this book so this one was super super popular with my kids and it also reads kind of like a wordless picture book does so even if your kids can't read it the pictures themselves tell a really, really good story. Another book that has a short that goes along with it is Hair Love, and I absolutely adore this book too. This was one of their favorites, and it's about a dad and a daughter, and the dad is struggling to do the daughter's hair, and there's some really sweet moments in this book. It's very, very special. We watched the short, we read the book, and it was something that they wanted to read over and over again too. So again, highly recommend this book. My kids loved it, it was wonderful. Also, I wanna show you the illustrations in this book too. They're great. The next one is super fun. It is the very impatient caterpillar. And we did this whenever we were growing butterflies. And it's just, it's the funniest book. It is such a trip to read, um, especially if you get really, really into it with your kids. So he kind of is a very crazy, impatient caterpillar. And even until the very end, he has the kids laughing. So on this page, now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right. I knew that. What? How did you do that? He's just so silly and fun and the kids adore him. There's actually a second book to this collection. Um, and it's called The Very Impatient Butterfly of When He's a Butterfly. We didn't get a chance to read it, but I know it's super popular. So this one, definitely pick up. And if you grow butterflies, you need this book. The next one is Dandy. This is a book that I hadn't even heard about until I taught this year, and I love it too. This was one of the books that my kids wanted to read over and over and over again. It's about a... It is a father-daughter relationship and a weed appears in their yard and Charlotte, the daughter, is in love with it. 
Oh, actually, her name is Sweetie, and she names the flower, the weed, Charlotte. But it's super, super funny. The whole time, the dad is just trying to cut down this weed, and in the end, a surprise happens. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it is very fun. It's also another predictable text, so the kids really have fun reading it with you. So, for example, he tried during nap time, but Sweetie was there. Hi, Daddy! He tried during snack time, but Sweetie was there. Hi, Daddy! We saved you a spot. It's very, very sweet, predictable. This page was one of my boy's favorite pages. It's just super funny. And this was one of the books that, like, when I put in the library for them to go back and read, all of them read it every single day. Last we have Rocket Says Clean Up. This book was donated by Anna Garza. She's donated so much to our classroom. I appreciate you, Anna. Thank you so much. And this book is about a little girl who goes to visit her family and they own an animal sanctuary on the beach and she finds a turtle and the turtle is tangled up in one of those bottle can plastic pieces. You can see on this page kind of what I'm talking about. And so Rocket feels really empowered to do something. And so it's got a great message to go along with the book too, especially if you read it in April around Earth Day. But there's also just other elements to the story that make it fun and interesting to read. Um, like my kids noticed that her brother was on his phone on every page in the whole book and it was really, really fun. Um, so there's lots of different things you can pull out and pick out and they thoroughly enjoyed this book. So these were my kindergartners favorite books this year. I went through those kind of quickly, but they are all wonderful. They're fantastic. I'm making a new list in my Amazon store French that says kindergarten favorite picture books. So you can just visit that and you can see all of the books all in one spot for you. So it's nice and convenient. Thank you guys so much for watching. Reading is absolutely one of my favorite things to do with my kids. And so hearing them talk about books that they love brings so much joy to my room. If you know of any books that your kindergartners or first graders love, let me know down below. Because like I said, there were a lot this year that I hadn't even heard of until this year that are absolutely absolute gem. So if you're hiding any of those, please share those with us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you in the next one.